Dentist Tim Gailey began his day like any other, seeing patients. I sat down and that was the last thing I remembered. I just collapsed. Dr. Gailey experienced a cardiac arrest. With the 911 dispatcher on the phone, his staff began CPR. I'm so grateful that you know, I had 911 and someone helping direct me. People don't always think about 911 dispatchers as the first medical responders, but they really are. It turns out that they really have this enormous life-saving potential. Are the paramedics there? Many 911 dispatchers already offer CPR instruction over the phone, but Dr. Ben Bobro from the Arizona Department of Health Services and co-authors provided additional training to 911 dispatchers in two regional centers in the Phoenix metropolitan area. The dispatchers were trained to be more confident and assertive with the rescuers on the phone. They measured outcomes for more than 2,300 out-of-hospital cardiac arrests during a three-year period. Training them to say, you need to do chest compressions. I'm going to help you. Let's start. We've actually found that that subtle thing is very important in motivating lay rescuers. We have to use a very strict tone of voice, too, to kind of get them to listen to us and pull all that chaoticness away from them. Our dispatchers did well. They gave telephone CPR instructions um, significantly more often. They got the first chest compression started much sooner. The study appears in JAMA Cardiology. We found a 32% relative increase in the proportion of patients that survived a hospital discharge, so they went home from the hospital, and remarkably, a 43% relative increase in functional outcome, which means patients that actually went back home in good shape. That's exactly what happened to Dr. Gailey, a husband and father of 13. Thanks to everyone working together, he survived. I was just praying that he would be okay, thinking about his children, and I would do the right things that he, he needed. I just remember giving him hugs and crying and telling him how grateful I was that they saved my life and how grateful my family was to them for saving me. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.